is there a level of healthy stress? You know how some people stress kind of like uh, motivates them to be their best. It's just a, a little level, but not obviously not too much versus living a calm and peaceful, joyful life, right? Like what's, is it different for everybody or is there like a, I guess, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's such a great question. So I think the important thing to know is that it is not normal to have a stress-free life. Right. Stress is important. <laughs> Exactly. It is a natural motivator and um, stress and in fact, anxiety, the, the emotion that goes along with stress is a great tool, teaching tool in your life. Whatever, whatever you're anxious about what, and what you stress about, um, that tells you what you value in your life. Um, what do we stress about money? Oh, you know, we don't like to talk about it, but so many of us are worried about money. There's nothing wrong with that. But on the flip side, it tells you that your security in a financial sense is really, really important for you. That is very useful for you to know without those that bell and whistle of the stress and anxiety that comes along with, oh, you know, I had a big bill that comes out. You you um, you don't appreciate that. It serves a really important purpose. So stress free anxiety life. I'm sorry, that does not exist. And the goal is really to try and harness the power of that natural stress and anxiety response that we have to motivate you, to teach you what is what is valuable to you. I mean, I always use the example. Um, I know that public speaking is often like the number one stressor for people. I do it all the time. And I always make sure or I like it when I'm I'm just a little bit scared before I start something. Like I don't know what's what's going on. I have to really pay attention. Um, not terrified to to take a step, but just that little bit of uncertainty. I could tell that it it puts me into a state where I'm ready to answer any question that comes up, any take. And, you know, my goal is for these kinds of interviews or talks to, to be as interactive and be as, you know, giving as possible in, in this time. Um, but I need that a little bit of scared in <laughs> to, to give my best talk. I think everyone can relate to that. And I just realized it's the topic of your book, Good Anxiety. And I want to point it out because it's right behind you. Yes. <laughs> and I, I love going into this topic because I, I think people get confused about a stress, but I think a better way to word it is like challenge and discomfort it's actually good for you, right? It forces you to grow. Tell us more about this, this topic of good anxiety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, people say good anxiety, my anxiety is you know, it might be good for you, but it's not good for me. Um, but I think it's really useful to take one step back and ask, why would something um, evolve if it wasn't helpful for us? It would mm -hmm. have disappeared so long ago, but no, it didn't. And was that just, oops, somebody made a mistake, you know, <laughs> um, or something made a mistake? No, it anxiety is a form of protection, for us. If we didn't have those bells and whistles to pay attention to something bad that comes up, um, we would, we wouldn't have survived. In fact, we survived because of our anxiety. And the, the trick is that it evolved in a situation when, you know, long millions of years ago, when we were, you know, um, um, our ancestors, when our main stressors were physical stressors, you know, don't get eaten by the lion things like that. And, and our, our stress system and our anxiety system evolved to help us get away from those kind of physical, um, and like life or death kind of situations. But as you know, I haven't been attacked by a lion ever, any, any time in my whole life, but I do get a little stressed um, when I look at the news. At certain points during the last few months, I've been very stressed when I looked at, at, at the news. And my system um, hasn't evolved to, to give me the newspaper stress response. It just gives me the lion coming at me stress response because that's how we evolve. And that's part of why we're overstressed in these kinds of situations. And, and we have to understand that as we learn how to regulate that a little bit better. Our, our, um, our protective system hasn't evolved as quickly as our, 
as our news agencies and and uh, kind of information delivery systems have have evolved. But it is protection, and I think recasting it just like you recasted stress to a challenge. I want to uh, recast, you know, um, anxiety as a protective mechanism. And how can we use that? How can we use that to better protect ourselves and um, and and not um, feel the aftermath as much? I guess what are the practical ways that you help people turn their anxiety into that positive protective force? Are there any tips that you can share? How can we use it for good, I guess? Yeah, so I'm so glad you asked that question because I have a three-step uh, model to get from your regular everyday, not so fun anxiety to good anxiety. And the first step is to learn how to turn the volume down on your own anxiety. Never going to get it away. It's there and it still has to protect. But sometimes I just need it to turn the volume down. And so there are so many different science-based techniques to be able to do that. And we've already talked about one, 10-minute walk can decrease anxiety and depression, feelings of anxiety and depression. Everybody has can, can take a walk for 10 minutes. Even if you can't go outside, go down the hallway, go to a different floor, walk up the stairs. That will decrease your anxiety uh, response right there. Um, other, other immediate kinds of responses and my other go-to is breath meditation. Breath meditation, which is simply a fancy way of saying breathe deeply and slowly and with intention, you know, like you do at the end of a yoga class, that is all it is. And you may not realize it. It's like, oh, you're just saying a yoga technique. No, I am pointing you to a technique that will directly activate your natural de-stressing system in your body. It's called the parasympathetic nervous system. And is it is equal and opposite to the fight or flight system that everybody has heard of. That's called the sympathetic nervous system. And um, what the parasympathetic nervous system uh, does um, at its full force, it decreases your heart rate, decreases your respiration rate. It shunts blood from your muscles uh, because you don't have to run away from the line anymore towards your digestion and reproductive organs. So you can do those kind of weekend activities that you do with their digestive system and with your reproductive system. And it does all of that. And it slows down your respiration too. Well, I can't slow down my heart rate by thinking about it, but I can slow down my respiration. So that's a kind of a magical, uh, uh, quick way to de-stress your whole body. That's why uh, breath meditation works. Not a fancy, you know, or a magical kind of way. You're literally activating a major part of your de-stressing nervous system. 